Welcome back to Tom's Garage. How you doing? How you, how you doing? Today, <laughs> today I got a special thing I'm working on. One of the things I hate, probably one of the worst things I hate in the world. But it's late October and I'm slow. Gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh, pow. John Deere D105, and you know what's coming. You know what's coming. Ooh, look at that bolt. A nice black plastic general transmission job. Whew. Why do I do it to myself? And it's being used in a commercial capacity. Yeah. The darn thing is stuck in reverse. Probably one of the hardest ones to get to because you can't just pull this bodywork off because this whole console is built on top of it. And you can't take the battery out and get to it because you got a big old gas tank on top of it. Mm. So the only way we're going to get to it is to take it out. Take it out, little monkey. Yeah. So we're going to pull this transmission out. Because as y'all are well aware, this transmission's got this big old plastic lever on the top. Forward, neutral, reverse. And it's, it's so apt to get trash and build up on top of it. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's what it is. Let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get this deck out of my way. I don't think you really have to remove the deck, but I'm going to just to get it out of my way because I ain't got no room to put my jack stands, none of my jacker stands. Pull this little pin right here. I used to be able to do that without having to use pliers. I have lost all my strength in my hand. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. Uh, and I don't know why. Okay. Disconnect the engagement cable. Get that big old spring up under there. Where's my pliers? I can't hang on to it. I don't know why they make that such a pain in the butt. Okay. Let that be. All right, we got that, we got that. We got one here. Right there. Don't forget the little washer. Did I just drop the washer? Nope. I got that cable out right in the way. I just dropped that washer like I said I was going to. I'll have to find it later. Anyway. Okay, we got one up front here. Boy, I don't know where that one went, but it's gone now. Hmm. Now we got a missing washer and a missing clip. I'm glad I keep my shop clean so I can find it now. There it is. Right there in the floor is the elusive clip. Let's take it back over there with the other washer. And now we will take this one off. And a little clip under there, same way as on the other side. Give you the old hairy elbow again. Ugh. 
And we got one way under there. Yeah. See, it just takes just a couple of minutes to get this thing out of your way. And we'll get the belt off of it. Get the little belt off of it. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Like I said, it just takes a minute. Now we'll slide that deck over on the other table. Let's make lots of money. Oh, that piece is missing. That's what I was grabbing for and it's broke off. We've been broken for a long time. Let go. Spindles a good greasing too while I got that off. Oh god. Hang my pliers back up. Okay. 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 Now what I'll do is get her get her all jacked up and put some jacker stands under it. I had a smaller jack and it gave up its ghost. And boy, I sure do miss it. This thing here is too dang big. This is a little overkill here. Guess I need to go to Lowe's and buy me another little craftsman jack. This thing's going to want to fall to either side. So. Huh. This one was bought actually at Ag Pro, which is a dealer. This one didn't come from a big box store. It just surprises the heck out of me. A dealer would sell a D105. Wow. Okay. I'll believe you. I'll believe you. I told you it falls over sometimes. <laughs> All right. Glad that jack stand was there. The jack stand looking good and centered up. And, nope, that one needs to be slid a little bit. Still got my hand and arm up there. Right? All right, now we'll go down with it. Going down. That one jack stand right there is higher than the other one. That's going to bother me. That's going to bother me. All right. Overall, right. I hate working on something that's crooked. Ain't that? I ain't going to be able to do that. Well, I haven't been pinched. Check. Give it a fray. Give it a wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Pretty secure. Get this jack out of the way. <coughs> Jack, I ain't gonna put it up yet. Whew. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these back wheels off. That gives me more room to get my arms in there. And like I said, he's missing his dust caps, which will cause that shaft to seize to your wheel, and you'll never be able to get the wheel off if you don't. Don't keep the dust caps on there. This is where you lose an E-clip. Ha oh, ha! I got it. Yeah, I gotta make sure I put them, put them some, 
dust caps on there and make sure you don't lose this key right here because without that key you just got a shopping cart that's all it's good for get that out of the way and we'll come right around hell luckily those transmission seals were leaking and has the shaft oiled up that's the only thing keeping that thing from Season on there. These, train, these general transmissions are bad about axle seals leaking. <coughs> There's my key right there. All right, get this wheel out of the way. Okay, okay, let's see, this will just pick up, and you gotta lower this transmission a little bit, yay much, and this will just pick up out of there. Same thing on the other side, we'll go ahead and, I just put my screwdriver up, now I need it back. Go ahead and unhook this. Sensor safety switch. Come out of there, boogie. Well. That just clips right in there like that. That's your uh, neutral, I believe that's your neutral safety switch right there. See, this thing is stuck in reverse, so it's not going to let you crank it. You'd have to cut grass in reverse all day long. That'd make your neck sore. Okay. Let's go over here and check out the other side. And let's see what do we have, what do we have? Grab my flashlight. This free will lever Got this little clip right there. A little clip right there. Just work it off. Work it off. A little clip right there. I was going to show the flashlight, but I'll show you. A little clip. Don't lose it. This will pick up, and you can just slide this out. There's your free will neutral. It ain't the neutral, it's just a free will. It bypasses the little doohickey inside that doohickey there, and that little doohickey does that. Okay. Let's see, you've got to get this clip right here off. Take your little screwdriver. I'll show you. This is a, kind of a strange little clip. This is a strange little clip. Can you see what I'm doing? Let me raise the camera. You can get a little better angle and I see what I'm doing here. I need to get my shoulder drop on. I'll put this on the table. Yep, 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 yep. Little clip right there. Little clip right there. Another there, little clip. Get my big sausage fingers in there to get it. There you go. See that little clip right there? You have to raise that part to get it up and over the end of that shaft and it'll just slide right out that way. And you got a little washer on top of it, so don't lose that. There it is. And this will come out when you pull the transmission out. You can take a zip tie or something and hold that up if you want to. If you want to. I'm going to zip these out. You got one on each side. It's just a bracket holding it over the frame. That's all it is. That's all it is. Ten millimeter. Whoa. And you got one on the other side. 
right there. Right there. Little 10 millimeter headed bolt. Okay, let's see. That'll have to be picked up and off when the transmission gets lowered. Other one pulls out. Got that, and then, got that, got that. And what we're going to do now is get the jack under, under the transmission. Then we'll take these bolts out. You've got two through bolts on that side. Same thing on that side. Wow. And when you put this thing back together, if it helps you, you can put the bolt down and put the nut on the bottom if you want to and don't make a difference. Which is what I usually do sometimes. And that's going to be a 13 millimeter. 13 millimeter. What else does you have? Have y'all seen my impact? There it is, way over there. Well, hey, we'll just... Gotta put the socket on there first. And I'll leave this one. I ain't taking this one all the way off. I don't want the transmission to fall down yet. I'll just get it prepared. Get it prepared. We'll carry all this around the other side. Here it is on the other side. Jack under it. Support it. Get these other two bolts out. Another two out. Throw them up there. Get that one out. Toss it up there. Then we'll give it a little lower. there here we go that's your go pedal whatever whatever forward or reverse you got it in it makes it go and the one on the other side is your clutch there's your clutch here boy okay now we're lowering on down a little more look at there I'm telling you, man, that's the problem with these darn general transmissions. Pine cones and sticks and all that junk in there. That's what the problem is. That's why it's stuck in reverse. That's why it's stuck in reverse. I told the guy originally I didn't want to mess with it, but I ain't got much else to do. I don't have much else to do. It's been a long time since I got to do this, so I've gotten too picky about what I work on anyway. I need to start making some more gators. Let's see, get that out of the way. Out of there. And you have got, if I can remember, grab my flashlight. It's been such a long time since I pulled one of these out. I should have watched somebody's video about how to do this so I can remember what all I need to take out. Let's see. 
We got one more clip on this side I'll show you. One more little clip on this side. And it's, if I can get my arm in there, that right there. I don't want to compare here. If you change the size of the tractor, I'm on the left side again. Get my needle nose and go for that one. Let's see if I can get my arms in there. Get that under that. Somehow or another. Who almost had it? Everything's so breezy. There we go. That's a good bite. Who almost got you? I'm gonna get you. Oh, there we go. And there's that one. There's no washer behind that one, so. And that will just come off like that. Right Let me jack the transmission up a little bit. I believe I got it under pressure. Under pressure. <coughs> jack it up. Relieve some of that pressure. Oh, my poor old arm don't bend like that no more. Get out of there. Get out of there, little rod. There we go. Got that. Now, we'll go back around this side here. We'll let the shock back down a little bit. This is actually the jack handle for my shop press. That's why I keep having to flip it around. I'm gonna hit myself in the mouth with it in a minute. And you got an eight millimeter right there. You got to take off to get that drive belt off of it. So it'll give up its little ghost. Oh, eight millimeter. Good eyeball on that right there that is a keeper it keeps that belt on so we're going to take it off get back here that's all it is it just holds that belt on now it's going to fall when i get the belt off which is fine if it wants to fall off it can got it there okay Take a step back here. Let me get my head in there, make sure everything's good. Make sure everything is deconnected. Make sure I didn't forget nothing. And boy, we are ready to deliver this one. Okay, the greasy thing. Let me get some of this clutter out of the way here. Okay, this be more of an overhead shot here. Okay, now when you go forward and backwards, this is what activates. And man, I'm telling you, it gets crud in here. I mean, look at that. Big old pine cone right there. Well, there's your problem, sir. Because right now it's stuck in reverse. Man, this thing is just full of stuff. That's what happens when you use it a lot and you use it too much. Trying to do commercial work with it. This thing is. These transmissions are designed for an 88 year old man that cuts grass about twice a year because he's bored. Get some of this clutter out of there. Hmm. So. Yep. 
And that's going to be the problem. Let's pull this. Let's pull this very drive off of here. T15, if I'm thinking right. If I remember right. Let's see. Let me make sure it's not a 20. I'm thinking it was a T15. No, it's a T25. Two twenty-five. Now where my impact go again? I can see it trying to get out of reverse. Something down here has got a hold of it. Something down here has got a hold of it. But I bet it's probably going to be under there instead of under there. But I'm going to go ahead and take the. Pull it off anyway. Yeah, this thing's gonna come all apart and it's gonna scare you. Don't let it. Don't let it. Get that belt off of it. Three seven four one zero. Huh. And we'll just lift this thing up and out, out of the way, out of the way. And see, it's, when you try to take it out of reverse and go forward or neutral, see something right here was holding it. This out of the darn way. Let me take these off before I end up losing them. It's all this crud right here. I mean, it's just crud. Look at there, there's a sweet gum ball. That's, and you can see the pressure that was against it. Sweet gummy ball there, boy. What I'll do is clean it out. I'll take it out there on the driveway and hose it with a hose. This thing has made a heck of a mess out of my shop. Yay! Okay. Hey, dinner's ready, guys. We'll finish this video in a few. All right, dinner was good. Now we'll just take a screwdriver right here and just jab at this thing, man. Just try to clean it out real good. Go up in there. Get all that debris out of it. Something is absolutely... that spring down this will just come off that aside get that off and get that screwdriver in there dig all this stuff out grab my other pick doing this all that dust is just everywhere take that washer right there off before I lose it because I may take it outside and turn it upside down and hose it hose it or if now the problem is going to be in this Something's still stuck under there. Hmm. I hope it's not internal. I'm hoping it is debris just stuck in this thing. Because 90 to 90 times out of 100 is what it is. I 
I'll say, let's get some more of this debris in here. Then I want to be able to get up in here, dig some of that out. Dig some of that out. Nope, we're not going to pop that off. There it goes. We got it now. All that darn debris. That's what it was. Right in. Mr. Kitty, what are you doing out there? Huh. Right there. Diggy diggy. Ow, just hit my head on that thing. What are you doing, Mr. Kitty? Is that they're stalking something? Probably one of those big old sweet gum balls or something. Stuck in here. She's now unstuck. Okay, there's drive neutral. And reverse. Mr. Kid, did you, did you get something? Did you get a squirrel or something out there? Crazy Mr. Kitty. What are you doing? That's the first time you ever come in my shop, Mr. Kitty. All right, well, we got her working again, guys. I'm gonna hit pause. I'm gonna go out here and hose this thing off real good and bring it back in and we'll put it back together. All right, got her all hosed off and cleaned up and everything and she's working fine now everything's freed up got all that crap out of there now we'll put her back together put her back together <coughs> put it back together oh. there girl already forgot that washer Pair of pliers here to hold that shaft. There we go. Put that down here. Put that down like that. Put that over there like that. And then we'll push down on this. Get her in enough. And then we'll put all this back together. Put this back together. It goes here. That goes like that. Like that, like that. I'll take this. Slide that on there like that. Right and that on there like that. Make sure this seats in there. Nice and good. Get your head in there, you can see. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Put this belt on there. Okay, is everything still seated? Nice and good. You know, it don't really matter which direction you put this, but see, this one's already threaded where that little drive belt keeper was. Otherwise, you'd have to re-thread that. 
And try to be gentle because this goes in plastic. Double check, everything's seated. Screw started. Need an extra hand doing this. Let's see, just make sure she seats back down her on it perfectly. Kind of tight. Oh, no wonder. I had that rod snagged. And careful, it's going in plastic. Careful, careful. There's that. Now, can't forget to put this car back on, but not now. Whew. Like that, like that. And by golly, we are ready to put her back in now. Put her back in now, boy. What I'll do, is I'll get the jack back out and try to set it on top of the jack. Or if you want to just try to rest it, you could probably do that too. It's got to go in there like that. Like that. Uh, got to go under there, just get her prepared to lift. is ready to go. Nope, I got the drive belt wrapped around that rod. Get it off that rod. I'll go ahead and put the drive belt around the pulley. I'm gonna go ahead and put that belt keeper back on there. Okay. Come around here. Okay. And I'll put the belt keeper back on there. Oop, look out, boy, hang on to it. Okay. Make sure that's out here. All right, let me get her back on the jack. Get her back on the jack. She barely had it on that lip right there, which is fine. I'm gonna let it slide. Oh, 
Let's see, she needs to go pretty far back. Get that prepared to go in there. Can you believe I got that drive belt crossed? I got it crossed over. Well, how did I do that? How did I manage that? How did I manage that? I'm glad y'all caught that. There we go, that's good. -er. That's why when you're doing this, you gotta keep your eyes open. Keep them eyeballs open. Okay. Yep, look at there. That's why you gotta be careful using the impact. It's aluminum. So now we get to redo it. Yep, buddy. Yep, buddy. Show you what I just did. I just stripped that right there out. So now what we've got to do is flip that thing around and use the other side and re-thread it. Because now it's going to go on this side. And that's a self-threading bolt or a screw. Get them threads made in there. No, we get to flip it around. I don't think it matters. I could probably put the belt guide on this side. It'd just be easier to get to on the other side. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's why you don't want to use an impact on everything. Sure it's seated. Okay. Just one step back, that's good. We're still making the money. Okay, let me change batteries real quick. Okay, fresh battery. Fresh battery. No, right, let's get it back over here. Get it on the jack. I'll just... I'm gonna do it a little differently. Do it differently. This is why it would be so nice having a two man or a three man shop. Two people can knock this out pretty darn easy. But you kind of struggle when you're by yourself. Let's see. Get it up on that one. I used to be able to crawl up on this table on my back. And do that. And just pick it up and hold it up there. I just oh, can't do that that no more. Can't do it by myself. Knock that 
spring off. Get that spring back on here. Okay. Let's see. Touch. Goes up yonder. We can get that back on there. I'm going to use a ratchet this time. No strippy strippy. Okay, make sure you didn't cross the belt again. Get that on there. Like we just talked about. But with a ratchet. Okay. Up and out of the way. Make sure the clutch rod is up and out of the way. pedal down on there like that that's got to go between the rod and the pulley and let's see what else we got here now we can go ahead and try to get the jack under it in this side. Let's see. Hang on there, but oh, hang on to it. Oh, back here. All right, I got a bolt on that side. Let me go check the condition of things on this side. All right, everything's where it really needs to be. Go ahead and get a bolt on this side. On the hole. I put it in this front hole because I wanted to pull the front of the transmission up. All right. I'll go ahead and put the other bolt on this side too. While you're over here. in this one. Okay, let me get my head in there and check the grab the flashlight, make sure everything's good. Let me take a look on this side. needs to be on the other side of that bracket. There we go. You gotta look real good. Make sure everything is hunky-dory. So 
So far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and put the washer and clip back on this one. Because this one's going to be in my way if I don't. And I can go ahead and get this one back in there. Come on, baby sled. Come on, baby. that clip back on there. Okay. Now we'll go around this side. Go back around to this side. I don't know if the transmission's high enough yet to get that put back on there. I don't believe it is. Let me check it on that a little bit. Well, I can just go ahead and tighten it down, I guess. That's in there where it needs to be. And we'll get them bolts in there, the belt. Let me check out the belt one more time on the pulleys. Whew. Everything looks like it's in order. Right. Okay. Slide it back just a little bit. Let's see. Let me get my other socket. Put the front brace bolts back in it all right there's that now it should be high enough to get this wire back in here the wheels and deck clips. Get these four by four blocks out of the way. Now we can go ahead and get them four main bolts tightened up. So we have left on this side. Everything's good. Everything looks good. Got that on there, the belt. All right, let's move around the other side. Move around to the other side. Okay. I've gotten this hooked back up with the clip and washer. There's one more clip back there I took off. Y'all saw that. I got it back on with little clipper and now we'll get this back on there okay get this bracket back on there and let's see gotta get this neutral this Free will hickey back on there. Now where exactly did it go? It went right there. So we will fish it through there. It's gonna go over there, under there, through there, and there. This camera a bit needs to fit better. Free will lever. 
goes in that right there. And then you gotta put this little clip back on it so it don't bounce out. And you probably just do it with your fingers. Yep, there we go. Okay, there's that. Okay, now we'll put the wheels back on it. Get the jock out of the way. Get your dust boots. It goes on yonder. Actually, it goes like that. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. All right, and we'll take a little anti seizure here. Anti. Cheese. Put some on both axles. <laughs> okay. Let's see, that's the wheel for the right side. This is the wheel for the left side because as you're driving, you want the very center tread facing that way. You don't have to, but it's just the way I am. OCD, man. OCD. All right. Don't forget your keyway. And line it up. And stick it in. All the way. All the way. Washer, that washer holds the dust boot. Which I have a couple of them on the shelf over there in the pack. We'll put some new dust boots on there. There's that. And then we'll go around to the other side and do it again. Way is up. Oop, got it on backwards. Ooh, you want the valve stem out. <coughs> Line up the keyway. Where is it? I know you've got to have one. There you are. All the way in. The e clip. There we go. Let me find a couple of find a couple of dust boots. Another in here somewhere. Yep, there they are. Front wheel caps. Clips. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give them some black ones because I've only got one yellow one left. I don't think he'll mind. These things are awful cold. They may be hard to get on. I have to heat them up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heat them up because this thing is way too cold to try to get on there. Almost got it. Almost got you. Oh, I just pulled it back off. 
I'm gonna have to heat these later and stick them on. Anyway, whew, I'm getting tired, tired. All right, let me get this thing off the jack stands. Get it off the jack stands. Okay, now we'll slide the deck back under it. Carry you over here. Y'all still with me? If the hole is vertical, I like to put this down. And if the hole is horizontal, I put it on this way. Because while you're driving and it gets hit, it won't it won't knock it out. So that's that. Okay. It's gonna go on like that. There we go. Put the belt back on it. And then we'll go to the other side and put the belt on that side. And on the way around, we'll stick this back in the hole. Now I can get it from the other side. Can't see it. Can't see it. Let's see, which one was that? It was this one. this around under everything and what did I do with the hole? Lost the hole. Let's see that needs to go around like that. Clip right there. Put 
clip on there like that. And one last little clip. Okay, put the belt on there, finish putting that on there. Ooh. Engage, everything's good. Disengage. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do real quick while I'm working on it. Get a little heat. Baby. I'll tell you in the heat of the summer these things can just pop right on but man when they're cool it'll give you a problem I don't believe these are the right caps for this John Deere anyway there we go I believe that's going to be good Well, they ain't going nowhere. Stick the other boot on there. Work them on. Here we go. One little, two little dust caps. Get all your tools off of it. Ooh, what's got my back hurting? I think I'm gonna have a acetaminophen for dinner. Okay. I believe she is there and she is ready to go. Let's let her down and see what she does. Been all stuck in reverse. We put the ramp back on the table. All right, let's see if I got it all put together right. Let's see what we got.
was another one I just saved him. He was already, he called me an hour before he brought it over. He was already looking at other mowers. I said, just go ahead and drop it off to me. Maybe it's something simple like trash or something in the top of the transmission. I knew what he had, but he was already prepared to buy another lawnmower. It's a great lawnmower. I just don't care for the weak transmissions in them, but uh, it might last him. I don't know. Well, thanks for watching the video, y'all. I will see y'all on the next one. Love you guys. Love me. Y'all have a good one.